Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. This video provides an overview of how to properly install the LC36A light curtain on a LiftMaster Logic 5 commercial door operator. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. The procedures demonstrated should only be performed by trained professional installers and service technicians. Safe operation and servicing requires that you follow all instructions and safety advisories found in the manual. To locate a trained professional installer or service technician, go to liftmaster.com slash locate a dealer. Liftmaster's LC36A light curtains generate a crossbeam protection pattern that provides 36 inches of continuous coverage to keep customers, employees, and equipment safe. The LC36A must be used in tandem with a primary entrapment protection device and be installed along the vertical plane of the door. Light curtains feature a crossbeam protection pattern and are NEMA 4 rated, providing protection against direct water spray. This makes the LC36A ideal for use in auto dealerships, fire stations, municipal garages, and commercial storage facilities. When properly connected and aligned, the LC36A light curtain will detect an obstruction in the path of its vertical plane of beams. If an obstruction breaks the plane of beams while the door is closing, the operator will stop and typically reverse to the full open position. The light curtain product is compatible with LiftMaster Heavy, Standard, and medium duty logic, FDC, FDCL, FDOA, FDOB, and egress commercial door operators. Note that a separate power source is required on medium duty LiftMaster operators. LiftMaster offers power supply part number 100 MAPS, which is designed to power two sets of LC 36As. The invisible infrared light beam path must be unobstructed while the door is closing. No part of the door or its tracks, springs, hinges, or rollers may interrupt the beam while the door is closing. If the light curtain is installed with a coil cord, the coil cord needs to be secured so it will not interrupt the light beams. Installation Begin by disconnecting power to the operator. Light curtains must be installed a minimum distance of 12 inches above the primary photoelectric sensors. We've already measured and pre-drilled mounting holes using wall anchors as appropriate. Assemble the light curtains to the mounting brackets with the provided hardware. You may need to adjust the connection so don't tighten too much. When installing more than one set of light curtains on adjacent doors, the provided shield must be attached. Thread the mounting screws through the light curtain, shield and bracket and loosely secure with the nylon locking nut. Make sure the lights on the light curtain are facing each other when you mount them to the mounting surface. Hold the light curtain up to the desired mounting location with the cable end pointed upward. Secure the bottom mounting bracket to the mounting surface. Make sure the light curtain is level, then secure the upper mounting bracket to the mounting surface. Tighten the screws to secure the light curtain to the mounting bracket. Secure the other light curtain to the opposite side of the door, following the same steps. Next, we will demonstrate wiring to a standard duty Logic 5 operator. Follow the instructions in the light curtain installation manual for your specific operator type and application. The light curtain comes with 6 feet of wire. You will need to provide the wire that extends from each of the light curtains up to the Logic 5 operator. Do not run this wiring in the same conduit with AC power. The transmitting light curtain has four wires. The receiving light curtain has two wires. The two brown wires are wired in parallel to one of the 24 volt AC power terminals in the operator. The two blue wires are wired in parallel to the other 24 volt AC power terminal in the operator. The black wire connects to the common terminal in the operator. The white wire connects to the edge terminal in the operator. Never connect wires from the LC36A to the LMEP circuit. Restore power to the operator. 
When the LC36A is properly wired and aligned, the amber and green LEDs will be on. The amber LED is located in the transmitter with the black strain relief cable. The green LED is located on the receiver with the red strain relief cable. If the amber and green LEDs are not on, disconnect power to the operator and check that all wiring connections are secure. If the amber LED is on solid and the green LED blinks, the light curtain is misaligned or obstructed. Make whatever adjustments are needed to align the light curtains so the green and amber LEDs are on and not flashing. When the light curtains are properly aligned, it's time to test. Open the door to the full open position. Press the close button. While the door is closing, obstruct any of the invisible light beams on the light curtain. The green LED on the light curtain receiver will blink when the invisible light beam is obstructed. The door should stop and reverse. Test the protector system to ensure the photoelectric sensors are working properly. Open the door fully and place an obstruction between the photoelectric sensors. The LEDs on both sensors should begin blinking. Stand clear of the door and give a close command. The door should not move. Remove the obstruction. The sensor LEDs should revert to solid green. Give another close command. The door should now close. If you're installing light curtains on adjacent doors, transmitters must be adjacent to receivers and shields must be installed on adjacent light curtains per the diagram in the manual. Your installation is complete. Be a champion of safety. Learn more about LiftMaster commercial door operators and entrapment protection products when you visit us on the web at liftmaster.com.